name's Ralph. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at this old soft tail or, or uh, twin cam here to see what's happening. Seems to be making noise. I got my buddy Larry here today. He's here with me today. We're going to tear it apart here and have a look and see what we can find in it. It's, uh, it's making an odd noise in there, which they're known to be. Could be the uh, tensioner, possibly, or, or it could be back in the... Uh, primary bearing there which they are noted for doing. Either way we're going to get it apart and have a look and see what's going on. You know if the tensioners were done in this thing? No I don't. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'll get you to do a proper adjustment on that clutch too while we go to her. Seems to be out a long ways this. Oh yeah? Yeah. So pretty well to the end. I was going to say you're probably out to the end. Cable there. Mm. That's why somebody's trying to adjust the clutch by just using the clutch cable. Okay. Take up the slack and try to do it that way, right? And it's usually end up with a slipping and things like that. Right. Instead, you're supposed to back that off to nothing. Yeah. Then screw this in and set it where it's supposed to be. Then take up the slack in there. Gotcha. Well, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. Um, just a sealer on it. Sometimes I put a sealer on it. And it's through the back side of the case. There is, there is play in it, but it's, uh, it's a lot tighter than it was on the Evo. A lot tighter. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. They just they get tighter and tighter. It's no play in it whatsoever. Oh, no, that's sitting tight. Yeah. See, they had a system that worked, in my opinion. <laughs> Take the retraction plate off, see what it feels like, and adjust it up. Yeah. And they're, they're notorious for, for tightening. Simple fix. Like them all, right? <laughs> Just the thing is you, you kind of you hope that you find something. Yeah, right? yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, that's the worst of what gets me sometimes when you take your stuff out and you know and then you, you keep taking it apart and go, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. It's in Windsor. That's in Windsor? Yeah. Just down the road from here, or it was in 2020, 2021. Oh, was that right? Somebody who owns it there? Yeah. Is that right? Wow, wouldn't be a half a mile from my place. I came, I came across a bunch of pictures the other day, actually. I was looking through um, old hard drives, looking for stuff. Yeah. And I found the whole file with Is that right? pictures of old yeller, yeah. If you want to grab that one. And see the, these things here will work their way back in that uh, uh, all right. that whole sleeve on there, right? Mm -hmm. Once they get back in their ways, then they'll can make an incredible amount of noise too as well. Looks like a Harley mechanic idea yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not a chance. Not a chance. No. I don't even want to go there. There was a time you might be ready to beer about now. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Beer o'clock. <laughs> beer o'clock for sure. So there's a spacer. Oh my gosh. That must play. Yeah. I don't understand where the plate's coming from. Size. Yeah. Get the brakes on there? Yep. Okay. Again. Yeah. Oh, 
leave. Moses. Well, so now it's the end of the day and we haven't got the nut off. We've taken the primary off and we've seen that what the problem is with it. There's a couple little teeth broke off the edge of the primary basket itself, but not very much. Uh, it's got it before it got too awful bad on it. We tried to heat this, uh, but evidently couldn't get it hot enough and uh, put an impact on it. Uh, but I'm going to spray it down now with uh, some liquid ranch, which generally works pretty good. And we're just going to let it sit overnight, and let that soak in, and uh, maybe go at it tomorrow. Now, the tool to go in there is, uh, I just looked it up, it's $220, the Jim's tool. And uh, I don't have $220. But uh, I think what I'll do tomorrow, the plan is to go over to Eleanor and uh, see if I can cut myself a hex to go in on this and a couple other small pieces and then a long tube and then I need the, the end of it to put a, a, the nut socket on so I can put the impact on it and try it again. Um, that's all we can do. We'll replace the seals if we have to, the main seal if we have to, if it gets that hot, but it shouldn't affect the main seal. Uh, the one in the en end of six gear, I uh, can replace that. Um, so we're not too worried about it. Um, but that's about where we're at. So tomorrow, uh, will be tool day and uh, I'll have to see what we can come up with to get it all get something made up all right we're not done yet she's wrecked all the way around so and I don't think we're gonna be able to get in behind it um, either so it's hard to see in the basket down there but there's some pieces that are broke off on the far side kind of see it in there now so it's, it's just in that one sort of area where it's taken a, a few of them off and it's only down in there about a quarter of an inch or so. Hey, so we're back at it today. Got a fresh look on things. Uh, we tried to impact the thing off yesterday uh, with a homemade tool that I have, but uh, it busted that all to pieces. So we're going to Eleanor today and we're going to make a little piece and try to make ourselves a tool since they're uh, well $225 plus tax uh, here adds up another 30 on that way over 250 so we've cut out a little test piece on Eleanor uh, just to see how it's going to fit before we cut out the quarter inch plate and this will be the base to go on over our nut so we'll have a look here and see if it fits so we've cut it out to go over this metric nut, I believe, and we just used a thin piece of metal to test fit before I cut the heavy steel. And there we go. That seems like it's going to fit on there. So we're just going to go over to Eleanor now and cut this out of quarter inch plate steel, uh, trying to allow for enough of the taper on the inside from the way Eleanor cuts a little bit. Uh, but we'll take it with us and go try and see what we can do. So there we've got it set up on Eleanor now and uh, it's set for cutting quarter inch plate steel so we're going to go ahead and cut it. So we've, now we've got our piece ready to test it, see if it's going to fit. And there we go. Now we got what we do is uh, make an extension piece for a socket here and a pipe out here, enough to clear this, and uh, we should have ourselves a socket.
So now we got our pieces welded together. As you can see in there, I had to make a step so that it would go over the nut and give me room for this to fit flush inside there. Um, so we've turned the end off of this old cobbler that I had and decided that since we made this fit the socket that we use that for the extension. So I'm gonna weld this to that, I put a mark on it so I can kind of center it up and uh, then we're gonna see if we can get that nut off. Here we go. So now we're gonna hit this this morning to see what we can get. Soaked it down last night and we've made our, our new tool so we can get a good bite on it. Pray for me. No such luck. Nothing? Not a, not a smidgen. Well, I guess we're gonna put the heat to it. It's the only thing we can do. She won't move. I mean, we got no choice except to heat it up. I mean, no, there's nothing that can be done there. Let's give her a little shot. No, sir. Well, that's off. There we go. So who would have thought that it would have welded itself that much to the uh, to the pulley? Uh, but we managed to drill it in there with some small drills and then with about a 3 8 I think. I'll, I'm not sure exactly the size of it, but it looks to be close. And hit it with that impact and uh, off it came. All right, she's out. So now we've got to pull the race off of that and we've got to get it off. And uh, I've got a brand new handy dandy live from the internet race puller. We'll see. It is a national emergency. It is an emergency. <laughs> we got a problem. <laughs> national emergency. National emergency. God. That's what's going to go down and beyond. In here. Yeah. Very rarely do they ever go down. That's why mine broke, but I am on the main, but he ended up grinding it so thin. I was just twist it out. Yeah. One comment I seen on the internet last night. Let's take the cover off the tranny, tap it out this way, far enough to get that in, and then tap it back in. Take the cover then off the tranny. 
The right trap door. Something. Yeah, it didn't have anything. Undo the brake. Well, let's take the clutch cover off and take the bolt off the mm. trap door. Boy, that's a long way around. Mm. Really? That's what I thought. Yeah. And, and, uh, along you can't tap that very far because stuff don't want to move in there right. inside. Right. That's it's all spaced in there. If there's any way possible, I'd like to stay away from that other side. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Go ahead. All I gotta do is pull the trigger. You got her, go ahead. Keep her away from the inside, because main seal. Use a handy dandy sealer. Let's see if I can get in, I can get in behind it. That's the trick. Come on. God bless the tool. God bless the God tool. God bless the tool. One of my handy dandy homemade ones coming soon on there. Works like a shit. Yes, sir. She's in there now. Yep. So Harley in their ultimate wisdom have now changed this nut to a bigger size so none of our tools for all our Harley guys will work anymore. Uh, it's over two and a quarter. It's more metric size, even bigger. I think it's 266 thou or something like that. Uh, but it's not two and a quarter. Um, so you need a big socket. Not only that, now it has to be tightened to the right. Right hand thread. All the years Harley have been left. Don't know why they keep changing things, but they do. As you can see here now on the pulleys, it says right hand. RH. Uh, so there's no question about that. Turning right and not turning left. This is our little tool that we've made up, so you can have a good look at it with our nut. Here's our nut that we had to drill out to, uh, to get it out, but it just fits in there. And this little tool is just long enough to go out past the main shaft and put a big socket on here so we're able to turn it. Uh, so it didn't take us long to make it up really, uh, but it was kind of fun. And uh, it was great to be here with Larry and, and working on this at the same time with a friend of mine, so working on his bike. Put a little aluminum piece in here that'll fit on the spline so to keep it nice and straight um, when you're getting it off or torquing on it so it doesn't pull sideways and uh, the aluminum won't harm the splines at all so that's another little uh, 200 some dollar tool that we're able to use thank you Eleanor so follow us along as we we figure out what we're going to do with this machine and uh, what sort of things are wrong with it as we go